My unforgettable swim is here on the River Colne, running through my dad's farm. This is the stretch of river where it all began. I started pioneering little adventures down here when I was about seven, and I don't really think I've stopped since. I think I always loved water, and I had uh, quite a free childhood that we could really just do whatever we liked on the farm. Um, and so I started launching these expeditions uh, with my brother and sister. Now I can still remember the sort of treasure map, you know, we would start at the top, we'd come underneath this humpback bridge, we'd shout a lot because there was this incredible booming echo, down over the waterfall, sprint down the strait, there were some rapids just up here that, you know, felt quite alarming to sort of go down on your bum. And then we would come here to Eel Corner. My brother um, he named it Eel Corner, I think actually just to scare us, but it ended up scaring him as well. So we were all totally alarmed and used to swim around the shallows. And then there was just sort of the home straight through the Red Willows. And it was just such a brilliant journey on hot summers. We used to do it again and again. You know, when you're nosing along the riverbanks and you've got the ducklings at various stages of growth and you've got all the cows kind of looming above you as big as elephants. I think the key elements that this swim has, which I sort of replicate all the time when I'm well swimming, is, uh, is that joy of the undiscovered nearby. Even though that this farm was obviously something that we just knew back to front from when we were as kids, it all looks different when you're actually in the water. And that's been behind this whole passion to set up the Outdoor Swimming Society and to write World Swim, is just to sort of share it. This is the book that I wrote a couple of years ago um, it was my first attempt to map England for swimming. This is one of my favourite swims ever, where there's this rock buttress across and you can swim underneath the rock arch. Another thing I really love about world swimming is that entire joy that we used to have when we were kids and we were just running around and free and happy. It seems to be replicated at any age when you go swimming in a river. You know that all the cares in the world disappear. It's sort of indelible marks of loving the joy of swimming and the freedom of swimming is the basis of the Outdoor Swimming Society. We want to celebrate and enlarge the beauty of every day by going for a nice long swim.